So cannabis extracts only like to hang out in things that are uh, nonpolar. So polar things like water, cannabis extracts won't mix into. So what's commonly used to make tinctures are things like uh, like alcohol or uh, what's a lot more common these days is a type of oil, uh, coconut oil, sesame oil, olive oil. I've seen lots of different oil blends, butter. Uh, I've seen tons. But the extract needs a fat to bind to in order to be carried uh, into your body. And so the tinctures are a great example of that. You eat a tincture uh, and you swallow it. It goes into your stomach and your stomach acids and your enzymes start breaking down these fats and start getting to the CBD that's mixed in with them. And that CBD has to be carried through just like anything else that you eat. It's carried through um, your stomach and then the intestinal tract where it's absorbed into your bloodstream. And when that happens, the root sends it basically through the liver, which is your body to, to break down whatever it can. You know, the liver's job is to take anything that it thinks might be unhealthy for you and break it down. And when cannabidiol, CBD, hits the liver, you have enzymes in your liver that notice that it's not something that's naturally occurring in your body, uh, but something exterior, and so it tries to break it down. So say that you eat maybe a 100 milligram dose of tincture. After it's digested in the body, it goes through your intestinal tract and is broken down, you know, in the stomach acid and then hits the enzymes and start to get broken down in your liver, you may only get maybe somewhere between 40 to 60 milligrams that are actually sent out from the liver and distributed to your tissues in your bloodstream. So humans have been using hemp and cannabis as remedies for ailments for a long time. And the way that we normally administer them is called a parental administration. And what that means is your mom or your dad can give it to a sick kid in, in an easy way. And so that normally like eyedroppers or nasal spray or um, obviously tincture, you know, something that you can put in your mouth or hold under your tongue or some for some unfortunate children, suppositories. And basically the, the way that humans have dosed themselves with hemp and cannabis for like the last 2,000 years have been very basic, what I would call rudimentary parental administration techniques. The way that Charlotte C.G. was originally being treated for her CBD was uh, with an RSO, and so that was an ethanol extract of cannabis hemp that was given to her in, in an oil form or in an alcohol base. And that's not much different than what the Romans would have been pairing for themselves uh, in order to use cannabis to its full potential. So we tried to develop a nano encapsulate to, to really try and fix some of the dosing issues that are classically found with cannabis. And so instead of just being the oil, like the tincture, the nano is an oil in water emulsion. And what that really means is there's oil droplets very, very small oil droplets that are suspended in water, like balloons floating in air. And the little balloons inside hold all of our CBD. We make these little balloons so small, um, we're talking about nanometers in size. We, you know, that's why we call it our nano formula. But a nanometer means one one billionth of a meter. And our particles are coming in somewhere between maybe 53 and uh, maybe 100 nanometers. That is very, very small. It's In fact, it's so small that the particles themselves can slip between the spaces of your cells. And so when you put this nano on your tongue, which is delivered as a pump gel, you put the nano on your tongue and immediately the oil droplets are slipping right through the spaces in your cells and being delivered directly into the bloodstream, almost as if they had been injected. And with this method, you can bypass the metabolism of the liver that destroys that good portion of your active molecule. And so we can deliver a smaller dose of active molecule, but we can ensure that the doses that we administer are almost fully absorbed in the body. And so you don't have to worry about eating 100 to get somewhere between 40 and 60. If you eat five effective milligrams, you get about five effective milligrams. It gives you a lot more precise control over uh, when you dose, when you expect it to kick in, and how long it lasts, which is, you know, between the tincture and the nano, the nano further standardizes how our body metabolizes it by eliminating a few variables between tincture and nano. So the effects of single doses can be a lot more predictable.